Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda Rose and today I have decided to share with you guys my favorite highlighters. Now I tried to do a top five but it's really hard to find your favorite highlighters when you actually have to decide to figure out what your favorite highlighters are. So I want to do like from five, four, three, two, one type of thing. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that because honestly it all depends on my mood and it all depends on the look that you're obviously going for for that moment. So my first one that I want to mention to you guys is from Becca Cosmetics and this one is Champagne Pop. And if you notice, I have completely like destroyed this highlighter. This is actually my second one. It does have like I wouldn't really call this a champagne color, even though it is titled Champagne Pop, but I would see this as more as like a peachy gold type of highlight. Now for light skin tones, I can see how some people might have a problem with this, but for myself and also when I purchased it during the summertime originally, it just looks so pretty on my skin. Becca highlighters are some of the best highlighters around. They're so smooth, they're so creamy. Um, it has a sheen but no glitter and for me, that is really what I look for in a highlighter. Some people kind of like the chunky glitter in highlighters but mm, I think it's just so gross and after a while what happens is you have your little nice highlighter and then as the day goes on, the color of the highlighter disappears and there's just like random bits of glitter all over your face and that is just so ugh, one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to highlighter Bebecca highlighters you will never ever have that problem so again my number one top favorite of all time it looks great on me now it looks great on me during the summertime is champagne pop by Becca cosmetics second one is another Becca product. So this one's actually a travel size. This one is of opal and the reason why I really like this color is because I feel like it's just the perfect nude when it comes to a highlighter. Champagne Pop as I mentioned has the gold peachy flex but I don't really like that highlighter on days even like for a day like today I put it on but it's not necessarily like the highlighter that I would choose to go with this I would actually want something a little bit more neutral and pink and that is exactly Becca opal again you're gonna get the creamy texture you're going to get like the nude champagne type of vibe not going to get glitter on your face and because this color is very nude like like a pinky nude it blends into your skin really well so you're gonna get the highlight but it's not gonna be like oh damn she got highlight on it's for me a very subtle highlight but beautiful especially on days uh, where you're doing more of a natural look and you want a glow but you don't want it to look super extra Becca opal is going to be that for you and it has really been that for me very 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 often my third one Okay, so this entire glow kit right here, this is the Sun Dipped palette. I love this entire palette, but as you guys are going to see, there are two colors that I am just completely obsessed with. This color is Summer, this color is Moonstone, and again, these are not like, I don't know. These are not highlighters that are like, oh my gosh, where'd she find that? These are commonly used highlighters but they have just worked really really well for me so these are the two that i like to use in the summertime i like to mix these two this is why this one is not really dipped into that much but i have definitely used it in the summer i mix the two because honestly summer is too light for me in the summer which really sucks but as of right now with my skin tone, I think it looks really, really good. You don't have to dip your brush in there a lot to get color. Just a little bit dabbing and then you can pack it right on your face. If you can use like a round brush or you can use a, um, a fan brush. Hold on, let me show you the brushes that I use. Okay, so the two brushes that I like to use for highlighter is this e.l.f. brush, which is called the Flawless Concealer Brush. But because of its like dome type of feel i think that it just does a really good job and it's small enough where i can get that highlight area but it's not too small where now it just looks like a line and it's not too big where it's dragging down to my cheek so i really like this and then i got this like morphe brush it's not even one of the brushes that are sold separately it was like a kit that i had purchased and i'm not necessarily a fan of how this applies the highlighter 
somebody's in the hallway. So my dog gotta get crazy. Not necessarily a fan of how this applies to highlighter, but I do like to blend it out with this. So sometimes, sometimes, this can just apply a little bit too much highlight, and then I like to go in with this one and kind of just blend it out, put it up here. So I'll like use this and I'll kind of like drag it from my cheek all the way up here. You guys have seen me do this multiple times, but that's usually how I like to use this brush. But I will always apply my highlighter with this e.l.f. brush, which is awesome because it's like $3. My fourth, which is actually a liquid illuminator. Now this is from... Josie Marin, and it's called the Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. Whatever, it's a good liquid highlighter. So I like this highlighter a lot. I'm gonna squeeze it out to show you guys, but it just sucks because a little bit goes a really long way. But the reason why I like this highlighter, one, Josie Marin just has really good skincare products, so I just trust anytime there's going to be like a liquid product on my face that it's not going to break me out, especially in this area. I don't have breakout issues, but if you do have breakout issues there, putting a liquid or just putting something that feels a little oily is usually not the best advice. So I really do like this. Now I think that it is too shimmery to just put all over my face. I know that some people like to apply liquid illuminators into their foundation. Uh -uh, I can't do this. What I do with this is I will apply it in certain parts of my face before I apply my foundation. Put that on the high points of my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, my forehead. I don't really do like here or here because I think that sometimes that'll make me look too greasy. Not dewy, but straight greasy. But it's really pretty. Again, the color is like this pinky champagne. You can see the difference between this hand and this hand. How it just has a really beautiful glow. But again, I would never apply this all over my face because I would look like a disco ball. But on certain areas where you would usually highlight and then you would go over that with a powder highlight, your face is just going to have this beautiful lit from within look, especially if you're using a foundation that is lightweight or matte. This on top of a matte foundation is really, really pretty because it gives that subtle glow, again, without looking greasy. My next favorite highlighter is actually from the drugstore. My last two. So it's a top six, not a top five. Again, because I couldn't pick a top five. It sucks. But my next one is from the drugstore, and this is from J-Cap Beauty, and it's called You Glow Girl. The actual number is Twilight. This is, again, a pretty gold color that is not too gold where it's like a okay there are some golds that are so yellow gold where it actually won't look good on the skin but because this is in fact a true gold I think that that's why it works and you can find jcap beauty at Ulta I actually purchased this online from their website uh, just because I had seen some reviews and heard about it and it's very very smooth very silky I think that the pattern not that it matters, but is really cute and This is a good for me like a good substitute when I don't want to wear champagne pop when it kills me That it's $38 and I cannot wear it every single day because I'd be repurchasing it every month I will use this instead. I feel like it gives me a similar look not the exact same look, but similar enough where I'm kind of satisfied with wearing this every day, especially because of my profession. I'm a teacher, and although I still like to look good every day at work, I'm not going to use a $40 highlight every single day while I'm at work, while I'm sweating, while I'm working with kids. So I do try to look for alternatives um, when it comes to any type of makeup products that I can wear every day at work and then other things that I can kind of spruce it up when I'm having an actual event. So again, this is from Jcap Beauty. It's a beautiful gold color and it is called Twilight. So if you and I are in the same, uh, I guess, skin tone, you're really, really, really going to love this. My last one from the drugstore, I've had this for years, but this is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Now, I don't know if these things are still $3. I know that when I bought it, it was $3. And you can see that there is a huge dent. This is the typical like cream highlighter where it could almost be white, but it's not, so it's wearable. I have mixed reviews about this highlighter. I myself love it. Again, it's $3. What do you expect to get? 
for three dollars sometimes people just really rub me the wrong way when it comes to stuff because it's like you do have to pay for quality especially when it comes to highlighters you're paying for quality but one of the biggest issues is that people felt like there was no pigmentation with this highlighter i disagree however because it's a baked highlighter any baked product you kind of have to like just get through the first layer and scrape off that top surface just so that you can get to the actual product you can see that a lot of times with even baked blushes so this is not like a surprise that's just how baked products are so my advice is that if you do purchase this one or even the pink one I have too I just prefer this one you have to kind of rub it to get that first layer off and then you're gonna see the color you're gonna see the pigmentation it's very smooth there's a slight bit of glitter in here but for me it's definitely it's so so subtle so I believe that those are my top highlighters. I am obsessed with these, even though I feel like I didn't show like I was completely obsessed. I really am. These are my go-tos. These are the highlighters that I will always continue to repurchase that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you do purchase them, how they work for you. And if there's a highlighter that I did not mention here and you really, really like, then let me know so that I can try it because you know that I do in fact love my highlighters whether they're affordable or they're high-end. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.